Hello and we continue with multi-axis control and today topic is MC gear out. First of all small change from previous video where we described MC gear in is that this background is now green just to make it a different color but everything else is exactly the same. Let's get right into it. So traditionally we need to declare this function block and let's press F2, text search mc gear out and again underscore one let's declare it here now again we need to call it f2 instance call mc gear out and as you can see maybe already there is only one axis on this function block and it's a slave axis so we put axis 0 1 let's go to multi-axis control and put visualization gear out we put the instance to the reference enter we can log in download run okay communication is running axes are here so first uh, let's enable our axis we execute MC set position to zero and let's prepare our MC stop just to put the valid values in the acceleration and now we can also prepare our move velocity and we need to add acceleration and deceleration on MC gear in and we will execute one to one same like we did in previous video and we are in gear we can run move velocity as we can see they are coupled and they are running in ratio one to one now when we execute MC gear out what will happen is that slave axis is going to continue travel with the last velocity that was traveling before we executed it will look like they are still coupled but they are not so let's execute mc gear out as you can see command aborted on mc gear in and the axes are decoupled let's for the brief moment stop the master and as you can see slave axis is still continuing to rotate now let's stop also slave and let's see the real purpose of this function block is if you want to change the gear ratio of mc gear in technically on the fly you have to abort existing gear in and then you need to change the parameters and then you need to execute again gear in so if we execute now gear in one to one and we again run the master the axes are in gear now what you can do is prepare new gear in let's say with ratio two to one you execute gear out and you execute again gear in and now the slave is traveling two times faster so that's it for today if you like video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video bye